This is Harry Potter, crouched between two branches, nibbling away. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, no. He's feeling very uneasy being watched like this. For the first time in his life, he is a spectacle. He's being watched as he eats, as he scavenges for his hidden nuts under the leaves that are falling because it is autumn. He knows what's down there. He has a little bit of mite irritation near his tail. A lot of parasites this time of year infesting the animals. But nonetheless, he is content because there's enough to eat. Where does he go? He's hiding out. He's uncomfortable with all this attention. He's somewhere in the branches. We're unable to see him at this time. If you watch very, very carefully, you might see a movement. Mm -hmm. But pretty much, I think you're just going to have to appreciate the beauty of this fallen over tree right now. <laughs> it is a beautiful tree. The color of the branches, green, little tiny pine needles. I'm not quite sure if they're pine, but some kind of needles. They create a feather-like effect, which is quite nice. There's other kinds of trees around here, too, and they're turning, their leaves are turning slightly red. There he is, scurrying along again. I don't know if you can see him, but again, trust me, he's there. <laughs> he's there and fully aware that all eyes are on him at this time. His name is Harry Potter. His neighbor's name is Voldemort. Voldemort is very, very large. He eats a lot. And he does not climb very well, because he's very heavy. We noticed him a week ago trying to climb up a fence. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to pull up quickly enough until the adrenaline set in when he thought we were actually going to try to touch him when all we really wanted was to have a conversation. And that was it. Just a little interview. Hopefully we will meet him and we can show you how wonderful he is. He's a fabulous, fabulous squirrel. But I do fear that there's a slight competition going on between Harry Potter and Voldemort. Just, you can sense tension in the air and also the fact that Harry Potter was hiding behind the branch to eat when he noticed our presence, as if he didn't want anyone to know that he was eating. I think he's a secret eater. Anyways, this is the environment of the two. This beautiful tree, they climb up and down trees, jumping from one branch to another, elegantly, or so they think. This babbling brook down below, they cross many a time per day. We're aware of this because there are small little indentations from where their feet have touched the ground. We notice this and we think, how wonderful it is to be able to move across the ground and across the sky. They can almost practically fly in the way that they move from tree to tree, branch to branch. And if you will notice, the sky has turned a lovely shade of blue, contrasting against the red of these leaves that we notice. Complete work of art in every way. I wish you a beautiful day, and I look forward to the time when next we meet, where hopefully Voldemort and Harry Potter will be united in this space. Over here, let me show you, just to let you have a little preview for next time. Over here, there's a little fence, and that's Voldemort's hangout spot. It's kind of blending in with the trees a little bit, because it is made of wood, but we shall hope to find them there, associating with each other in perfect harmony, if not so, at least associating as enemies. Until then, have a beautiful day.